name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. Finally, right? <laughs> we come together once again to celebrate this Eucharist, to celebrate the Spirit of God coming down upon us today, mindful that in the midst of everything that is going on in our life, the Spirit of God continues to shape, to form, to influence, to animate us. And so that Spirit of God that is being given to us today, especially to these young men and women who are about to be confirmed, strengthens us, encourages us. And so in those times that we have not been fully aware of the Spirit of God working in our lives, in those times that we have sinned, we ask for forgiveness, we ask God to strengthen us once again. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most gravest fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life.
Concédenos Dios Todopoderoso y Clemente, que el Espíritu Santo venga a habitar en nosotros. O oh God, who have taught us to be faithful by light of the Holy Spirit, grant that the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now be seated and let us listen to the Word of God. A reading from the Acts. When the time for the Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly, there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews, Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each one of us hear them in his native language. We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and the converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different kinds of forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though, it has many parts. And all the parts of the body, though many, are one body. So also Christ. For in one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Candidates for the confirmation, please stand. Dear Father Tony, I'm pleased to present to you the, the candidates of the confirmation. Guillermo, have they been prepared and are they ready to receive this sacrament? These candidates have prepared for the confirmation by participating in the sacrament life of Christ, by meditating on the Word of God, attending their religious classes, by participating in a retreat and other activities, and by demonstrating Christian activities like service hours. They have found a strength in the grace of God in support in our community, prayers and example. Now, they ask to be confirmed. And after a consultation with the catechists and parents, I testify that they are ready. I would like to ask all the sponsors to stand up at this time. My dear brothers and sisters, the sponsors, the Christian life and the demands that flow from the sacraments are not to be taken lightly. Therefore, before granting these candidates the request to receive the sacrament of confirmation, it is important that the church also hear the testimony of their sponsors who have journeyed with them. And so, my dear sponsors, are these candidates ready to be confirmed today? And now I would like to invite all the parents to stand up at this time as well. My dear brothers and sisters, the parents of this confirmandi, you have walked day by day with these brothers and sisters of ours. Should this, brothers and sisters of ours, be ready to, to be confirmed today? And so, my dear candidates, your pastor, your religious formation director, and your families have testified on your behalf. And so I ask you, are you ready to receive the sacrament of confirmation? Yes, I am. I didn't hear you. Let's do that again, just in case, because I'm not sure if you're ready. I want to hear you say it, OK? Are you ready to receive the sacrament of confirmation? Yes, I am. And so I, I now received the, uh, you as uh, candidates for confirmation. Please be seated for a moment. There is a story that I told in the graduation of our eighth grade. It's a, I think it's a fable or something like that. So one day, there was this uh, young boy who was walking in the forest, and in in the area in the forest where there is swampy, there is a, there is an alligator. So there is a gator, and bit the leg of the boy, and he was screaming for help, help, help where all of a sudden a rabbit happened to pass by. And the rabbit, of course, who can talk, said, you know, I'm going to distract the alligator. I'm going to run around. If the, the gator opened his mouth, just run off, right? So the rabbit did. Run around, run around. And of course, the gator got distracted, opened his mouth to go after the rabbit. And the rabbit, of course, was passed. So the boy got out went home, the rabbit went its way, everybody happy. So one day the boy was like, you know, I got to go find that rabbit and thank him. So he went back to the forest with his dog, looking for the rabbit. And then he found the rabbit, and the dog went and attacked the rabbit and ate the rabbit. 
And we would say, what? oh, that's a terrible story. Well, that's kind of like the situation that we are in. Like life sometimes is quite unusual. And we are in this very unusual situation as well. Who would have thought that confirmation will be cut short in February? And we would, you all probably were saying like, yes. <laughs> we don't have to go to confirmation. We don't have to wear that. You got to admit, that black shirt is cool, right? Keep it as a souvenir. You might have a use for it somewhere, somehow. You never know. And here we are nonetheless, coming together once again to receive the Spirit of God. The fact of the matter is that we can never really outrun or outwit the Spirit of God. It's always with us. It's always inspiring, as I said in the beginning. It animates us, it encourages us, sometimes it challenges us. And so in the midst of this difficult times, we come together to celebrate that grace in the sacrament of confirmation. We celebrate once again the fact that you, the confirmandi, are receiving the Spirit of God today, or the gifts of the Spirit of God. It's not some sort of a graduation, because if it was graduation, did you have a parade for confirmation? No, I don't, oh, it's not too late to do that, by the way. We can still do that, but it's not a graduation. Confirmation is part of the sacrament of initiation. It's like when you are baptized, it's part of that. When you are baptized, your parents brought you to, to the church to be initiated into the life of Jesus Christ. When you were in second grade or Masumenos around that time, you received the sacrament of the Eucharist, which is also part of the sacrament of initiation, that we are part of the banquet of, of the Lord. We participate in communion in the body of Christ, as we beautifully heard in the, in the second reading today, right? I lost the second reader. Ah, oh, she's over there. That we are reminded that we are part of the body of Christ. And there are so many ways and manners in which we express and be part of that. And the sacrament of confirmation is kind of like a sacrament of maturity that we are now trying to, to sort of grab the bulls by its horn, right? That our faith belongs to us as individual, and it's up to us to live it, to practice it. Yes, you're still going to get guidance from your parents, and you will do that always. Yes, your sponsor will continue to walk with you for the rest of your lives. But, you know, you don't have to be woken up by your parents every Sunday to go to Mass or to be dragged to confirmation, you can do that now in your cell phone, in your bed, <laughs> with kind of like what we're doing today, right? But it's now on you. It's now a sacrament in which, or the sacrament of confirmation strengthens you and sends you out into the world to be able to participate in the life of the church in your own way, in your own expression. So learn to, to accept those gifts of the Spirit that is being given to you. Do not waste them. You cannot just say today, thank you, next. That's a song, right? <laughs> Actually, there are some good things about that song. I mean, not everything. But we learn something from the experience. We learn something from this experience that we have. We learn from the gifts of the Spirit that is given to us. What are they? The wisdom of God that is being given to us today. Understanding, good counsel, fortitude, piety, awe of the mystery of God in our life, or we could say fear of the Lord. I know I'm missing something there, but those things are given to you today. 
Don't waste it. Don't waste it. It is now up to you to do it. What are you going to do? What are you going to do with it? Are you just going to say, well, it's over with, thank God? And even if that is the case, even if you're just doing this for the sake of making your mom or dad happy, and that is a good thing. Making your mom and dad happy is a good thing, right? At least it's outside of you. It's something that you're doing for another. So don't waste it. Don't waste it. For all the confirmandes, please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, I now ask you to renew your baptismal commitment. Do you renounce Satan and all his empty works and promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who today, through the sacrament of confirmation, is given to you in a special way, just as he has given the apostle on the day of Pentecost? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? And together, let us say, this is our faith. This is the faith of our church. We are proud to profess it. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us all stand. And for the candidates, I would ask you to bow your heads. Others. Dearly beloved, let us pray to God, the Almighty Father, for this, his adopted sons and daughters, already again, born again to eternal life in baptism. And he will graciously pour out the Holy Spirit upon them to confirm them with his abundant gifts. And through his anointing, conform them more fully in Christ, the Son of God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who brought this, your servants, to new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, freeing them from sin. Send upon them, O Lord, the Spirit, the paraclete. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and fortitude, the spirit of knowledge and piety. Fill them with the spirit of the fear of the Lord, through Christ our Lord, amen. Go in the middle. I would like to invite the confirmandes and their sponsor to please come forward, just like we do in communion. Follow the ushers, please. Give 
gifts of the Holy Spirit. hermanos hermanas oremos a dios padre todopoderoso unidos en la misma fe en la misma esperanza y en la misma caridad que proceden del espíritu santo my dear brothers and sisters let us humbly pray to god the almighty father and be of one mind in in prayer just as faith hope and charity which proceeds from the holy spirit are one For these his servants, 
whom the gift of the Holy Spirit has confirmed, the Holy Spirit has confirmed that planted in faith and grounded in love, they may bear witness to Christ the Lord by their way of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Por sus padres y padrinos responsables de su fe, para que con su palabra y ejemplo los ayuden a seguir fielmente a Cristo, roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. For the Holy Church of God, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the bishops, that gathered by the Holy Spirit, the Church may grow and increase in unity of faith and love until the coming of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Por los hombres del mundo entero, que tienen un solo Creador y Padre, para que se reconozcan como hermanos y sin discriminación de raza o de nación, busquen con sincero corazón el reino de Dios, que es paz y gozo en el Espíritu Santo. Roguemos al Señor. Te rogamos, Señor. Let us all pray for those who are sick in our community, our loved ones, especially also those who are stricken with the COVID-19. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen them, heal them. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, who gave the Holy Spirit to your apostles and will that through them and their successors the same Spirit be handed on to the rest of the faithful, listen favorably to our prayers and grant that your divine grace, which was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, may now spread through the hearts of those who believe in you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all be seated. Thank you. 
us pray, my sisters and brothers, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that being conformed more perfectly to your Son, they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him as they share in the memorial of his redemption, by which he gained for us your Holy Spirit. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, ascending, from, ascending above all heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, 
for our Lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, with Saint Raphael, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember also, Lord, your servants reborn in baptism, whom you have been pleased to confirm today by bestowing upon them the Holy Spirit, and in your mercy keep safe in your grace. Remember also our departed brothers and sisters and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray together with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught all of us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. 
and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I'll just say the word and my soul shall be healed. In the body and blood of Christ, bring it to your life. Though.
Let us pray. Que tu Espíritu, Señor, descienda sobre nosotros. Purifique nuestros corazones y los fecunde. May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit cleanse our hearts, O Lord, and make them fruitful by the inner sprinkling of his dew. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amen. Please be seated for a moment. Once again, I would like to recognize our brothers and sisters who were just con been confirmed. If I could ask them to stand up so we can applaud. Congratulations, felicidades. And of course, to the proud parents, I know you did most of the lifting. No, just kidding. They did come for until uh, the whole of last year. They did religious formation, uh, community service retreat. We were able to do that at Mesilla right before we sheltered in place. So, a los padres, felicidades to the parents, congratulations as well. And most especially to the sponsors, uh, your role is to accompany and to walk always with this, uh, uh, our brothers and sisters who have been, who've just been confirmed. So. We, we applaud you and we support you and we challenge you as well to, to, to do your part in this uh, beautiful role of being a padrino or madrina. Uh, to all our catechists who, who tirelessly uh, devoted themselves in, in doing the uh, instruction and, and also catechizing both when we were still uh, in person and, and when we sheltered in place and all of a sudden they are YouTube influencer in YouTube. So thank you to all the catechists. Can I have the catechists to please stand up? Where are they? Go back. Uh, thank you all. And you will continue to be uh, our YouTube influencer since we're going to go virtual with, with our catechism and confirmation program for next year. Uh, Guillermo, our religious formation coordinator, and stuff. Thank you as well. And of course, to everyone who made this celebration wonderful, uh, our choir, uh, the Rabs, and Raul. Thank you. Our padres and diaconos, soon to be diacono over here, thank you. Rick and, uh, and Stevan in the camera. Who knows if it worked? It worked? It did. <laughs> Wonderful. Nos ponemos de pie. As we dismiss everybody, uh, we can all go outside and go home. <laughs> and take pictures, take as much pictures as you can, but please, 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 social distance, put your mask on. Thank you. <laughs> El Señor esté con ustedes. Y la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, el Padre, Hijo, el Espíritu Santo, descienda sobre ustedes, mi all powerful God, the Father, and the Spirit bless you always. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a good evening to everyone.
sign over here if you want me to photobomb you. Okay, you can stand over there and take pictures. No! Yeah, somewhere out there. Okay.